Okay. No. It's okay to not be okay. Guys, I am severely pissed right now because it was recording and I got my first piece of fucking netherite by actually mining and stuff. Like, I went to... Uh... She made an oopsie I don't whoopsie. Know... I don't know if it wasn't recording the whole time or if it stopped recording at some point, but either way, it fucking stopped recording. I was it. I tagged Dakota. What else happened? Um... Was that the episode we finished the farm? I don't think we did that. I think so. Yeah, we also finished this farm, guys. If you didn't see that. Oh, I've been doing so good on not fucking that up. Well, it happens. It's okay. We forgive you. I know, just of course it had to be when I finally decided, you know what? Like, because I literally have not farmed netherite because I wanted to do it on stream so I could get the first piece that I found on stream. Yes. Because I've never farmed for netherite before. I know. And of course it had to be that fucking episode that I fucked it up. It sucks. I restarted the stream. Alright. You're it. Uh. I'm chopping down a tree. I can't believe I finally got a god pickaxe. Yeah, it looks amazing. Thank you. I appreciate I'm blue man. No problem. Now I gotta go actually get resources, cause I'm a broke ass bitch. Bitch, 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 bitch. Broke I'm a broke ass, ass bitch. bitch, 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 bitch. I literally have no iron. <laughs> None. None. Zilch. I have no iron whatsoever. Damn. I feel you, bro. I'll be back. I grab me another drink. All right. I'm back. Welcome back. Going down again. Going places that I've never been.
a gas literally spawned in this fucking hole. Got him. The fuck? Now a skeleton. Ugh, oh my god. Just let me be, you bitches! I'm just trying to live my life here. Yeah, they don't seem to like that so much. <laughs> like, why does it have to be skeletons? I have everything. I would have been fine with skeleton, not skeletons, uh, zombies. I would have been fine with literally anything else. Skeletons are just the fucking worst, man. They don't respect your boundaries. Not at all. <laughs> like, bruh, go away. I don't give a fuck about you. I'm just trying to blow shit up in peace. I got that on stream. <laughs> <laughs> that that repents for it. Cause I was pretty upset that I didn't get that on stream. Yeah, I know. Look, now we all good. It all works out in the end. In the end of glory. Yes, I'm mostly doing this for a monopoly. Over another right? Mm-hmm. It's gonna be the most expensive thing on like in the world. True. So if I get as much as I need for my armor before everybody else and then have extra, then I can make a very fucking pricey damn it. For the rest. But I know that most likely ain't gonna be the case. I just would like to try to have a monopoly over something. Okay. I, I just so people would. Well, oh, I feel like it might give people the intent to not want to be so mean to me. <laughs> At endgame, okay? I'm already gonna be struggling enough, so I need something to sugar the deal. I love how you say sugar and then you don't want to just say sweet. <laughs> Wait, is it sweet in the deal? I thought it was sugar the deal. Uh, huh? It, it, it's sweet in the deal. Oh. Not sugar. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's never talk about this again. Oh, no, it's not like it's cut on stream right no, totally not. <laughs> As I sit here and fail to kill a freaking skeleton. Like, nah. Not a big deal. So you know deal. how I just went mining? Yeah. I already got over, like, almost two stacks of iron. Jesus! <laughs> My pickaxe has not lost any durability because the coal I found has repaired my pickaxe. That's great. Uh, uh, people like normally always try to get like an OP sword, or OP armor before like any other other stuff once they can get mining and shit. But then I'm always just like yeah. pickaxe. <laughs> Understandable.
I've realized I think I might hate the nether. <laughs> You're just realizing this? I caught TNT on fire and then had it explode. How the fuck did I manage this? Because the nether's full of fire. <laughs> no, like, I used the fucking... The thing to normally make it explode. Yeah. I used that and made it catch on fire instead of lighting it. Oh. Again, how did I manage this? It's just a little more thing to do. Fucking say that again. <laughs> And there's three fucking skeletons working their way over to me. I do not appreciate it. They just want to be friends. No, I disagree. Because they only shut up once there's lava below me. So if they hit me, I'm fucked. Uh, there's a lot of deep dark. Oh, that's a chakra box. Not a chakra box, a uh... I don't want to lose my netherite because of your dumbass. Okay, no, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm not dealing with it. I'm just gonna run. Just gonna run. Just gonna run. Going home. Going home. Going home. No, please, 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 please. Just want to go home. Let me go home, please. Please. That was fucking stressful. I don't Sound like this. I don't think I want the Monopoly anymore. <laughs> it's way too fucking stressful with having this fucking expensive shit on me trying not to die because I'm used to not giving a fuck about death and having this stuff on me. I'm like, I can't risk the death. So I, I'm, I'm saying I'm too big of a pussy. Way too big of a pussy. Can't do it. Nope, I'm good. Pussy alarms have gone off and they are all for me. <laughs> I do not like to deep dark. It's too dark, too deep. I wouldn't be down there if I were you. Um, it's a little spot in my cave. I'm trying to find diamonds. But I might live, leave here and just go. Yeah, I would highly recommend that. As I learned, uh, you know how, like, you have to worry about making noises that will make the warden spawn? Yeah. The number of wardens that you can spawn in one deep dark is eight That's of funny. that we know of right now. It's too many. So it's not, yeah, so it's not just like, oh, you sound one and you have to worry about just that. No, the more you make noises once one warden is spawned, if you continue to make noises and do it again four more times, you spawn more. And more and more war. What the fuck? 
Yeah, so if I were you, I'd get out. Because I know because I watch uh, Graham and he was uh, on his uh, her hermit craft. He was do uh, trying to make a um, pretty much a, a, a scare machine. Like he was grabbing the things that do the screaming and putting them all together and seeing how loud he could get it to scare people. Yes. And he was flying like he had Electra. So he would uh, still stop and grab the loot and everything. And by the end of the time that he left the um, deep dark, he has spawned eight of them. So as I know, at least eight can be spawned if in the uh, deep dark. So, like I said, if I were you, I would definitely 100% get out of there. Because he had an Electra, and he still died with, with Totem of Dying. Multiple of them. And he still fucking died. And you're down there with nothing but yourself. So, yeah. I wouldn't be down there if I were you. That shit's too scary for my liking. Like, I was scared when I knew I could spawn one, but to know that I can spawn multiple? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, fam. Like, it was worth it to get the sneak thing with when it was just like one. But the fact that you can spawn more than just one, I don't think it's worth it anymore. Like, I'm good. Enchantment's amazing, it's really good, but that was when it was just one. There's multiple. Yeah, not worth my life. I don't like the fact that the skeletons keep on duplicating. If I find one there's lonely, it becomes three. I really don't appreciate it. Please never stop spawning. I don't appreciate it. This is a problem. What's up? Just the normals, like hearing noises I don't appreciate. Got it. I think this is the way I went in. Oh no.
Okay, the game's lagging way too bad. Yeah. I'm gonna save and quit and then join before this creeper blows me up and I lose my fucking netherite pickaxe down in a cave, which I don't know where it is because I've lost it myself. Yeah, I get you. Okay, I was ever killed. Should I, uh, save and log out too, then? Um, I don't know, let me see if it's lagging bad still. Mine doesn't seem to be lagging that bad anymore. Ah. Uh, I was only saying that more or less for you. I, I was just worried about you losing your shit. So I was saying maybe. Because normally when I jump, when I originally jump on, it's good for a while. So normally that's what I have to do when it's lagging too bad is I have to restart my Minecraft. And then it seems to fix itself afterwards. Got it. So I was more or less saying that just in case you, you wanted to do that just so you didn't have to worry about losing your shit. Alright, I'm good for now. What is happening? Is it still lagging? I think so. Okay. Uh, then let me know when you're ready and I'll. Yeah, you can back, back out. out. Okay. I'm gonna save and quit it. And then I'm gonna restart Minecraft. Alright, I'm gonna restart Minecraft. Cause I don't want you losing your fucking good ass pick because of lag. Same goddamn thing, that's why I'm like, if it was because of that, like if you did fuck up and shit like that, I would just make you a new one in creative cause that's bullshit. That's nothing you could have controlled, so don't directly worry about that. If that does happen, I'll fix it. Alright, thank you. No problem. Because, like, when it's other stuff, like, it's fine, it's stupid mistakes, but lag, you had no control over, so. Yes. Just know if it doesn't get better and something would happen and you would lose it, I would make you another one. If yeah. it's because of lag. I'm trying to get on my cave right now so I don't end up dying. So I'm just digging straight up. Alright. And hopefully I can get out. I could hit your button. Please. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to wait for me to get to it, but. I'm in a safe spot. So, it's okay. okay. I'll run over there as soon as I get back in the game. Cause your boy is fucking stuck underground. But I get for trying to mine. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to my to my actual mine and try mining at diamond level to find diamonds. Okay. Because I was just doing cave diamond because I need a little bit of everything, but now I have iron and some gold and stuff, so just more worried about diamonds. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, it seems to still be acting slow. Like, it's taking a while for me to even log in. Damn. Yeah, I'm still lagging. Yeah, I'm in your game already. Okay, I'm gonna run back and hit your button. It either is because of the fact of mine versus your, uh, thing, or it probably is because of, no, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Skeletons, I fucking hate skeletons. Same. Or it just simply could be because of how much is now on this server, well, not server, on this world now. Yes. Are you able to change the simulation distance, or is that already set in stone? I have zero idea. Because what we could do is lower the simulation distance and it, when it render so many things in at once. Yeah, because obviously I'm surrounded by mobs. Then you're in cave, so you're also surrounded by mobs, so that could be a main thing that's lagging it the fuck out. Yeah. Going to the button now. Boom. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Oh, wait. Why did it teleport you here? No. Oh. I, you teleported me to my base, so I instantly clicked my button to get back so I could punch you. Oh, okay. I was so confused for a minute. I'm like, how the hell? That's what it is. I didn't turn it off again. Uh, if this is running when we're not here, it for some reason severely lags out the server. So, uh, we're gonna wait here for a second. Wait, it gave it to me, it gave it to me, it gave it to me. Oh. That totem of dying, it gave it to me. If you want to uh, throw that in the love and hit the button again, since I kind of fucked it up, you can. Yeah, I'd like to reroll. Alright. I'm gonna go way over here. I should not get it this time. <laughs> Shouldn't have re-rolled. <laughs> oh, too bad you threw in the lava already. I uh, know. What? I got blaze powder, blaze rods. I know it's one of the worst things to grab. Yeah, it's like I don't fucking want it. <laughs> Yeah, but I understand why Isaiah made that one of the things. It's because Nether, like, we had so limited area on Nether. So it was one of the things that we most likely wouldn't have been able to grab if we got unlucky. So he made it one of the things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. What? It should be... Oh wait, no, it's about to be. It's around the time to hit the button again anyways for the, your it, so I'm gonna hit it. Okay. It's you Yay. again. Yay! The game favors. Finally. <laughs> your boy needs a blast furnace. Can I make one? I shall. Ouch. Okay, so five iron. Uh, excuse you, goddamn. Mm -hmm. You know what I realized would have been really cool? What? But I don't know if it's possible. Okay, me and Isaiah were talking, and half the reason why we took away the flying thing is because if somebody had the flying thing and the other people didn't, it'd be kind of unfair for that person because they could just run away. So, we said how we probably will do at the end of the season or do a little own game mode where it's only Electra. You know would be another cool idea? Mm. Underwater fighting. Because now we have an, a companion who fights with us underwater, which is... Uh, 
fucking axolotls. So what if we made it where we did do an underwater PvP and we use axolotls to fight against each Hmm. It's a good concept. Like Exactly. But the only issue is you can only get that like axolotls in the um where I live. Well I have one too. Yeah, I know. I'm saying as another game mode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we were doing completely underwater PvP, it'd be difficult because they only spawn in um, uh, forests or, or whatever it's called. Where I live. Yes. Where the berries are. So... It'd be difficult if it was just an underwater thing to be able to fight people. Because, like, with uh, axolotls, because they would have to be on land to go get the axolotls to begin with. Yeah, so I don't know how that'll work. Yeah. But I still like the idea, I'm just gonna have to work on it. Yeah. It could just be a little uh, thing, maybe. Uh, luck base like maybe I could do uh like kinda like how um phone games do with like the um the people you get like how you get uh points and you give those points or uh tokens to get characters and blah 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 yes I could do something like that where uh you get lucky and like every uh, day you get to hit the lottery and that's how many axolotls you get. And like towards the end like you better just hope you got good numbers because somebody might have a bigger army than you. Huh. I mean that could be ha something. No idea though. Definitely something more to think about. Yeah. It's just an idea because I was like, we're going to do a Sky PvP, or at least a Battle Arena thing. So I was like, what about water? And then I was trying to think about it, and I'm like, Axolotls would make that a lot more fun because the fact now you have Axolotls that will fight for you and with you. I think it could be fun. Ouch. Why am I crouched? There. Jesus. That's definitely an idea. I'm just trying to think of more, uh, little, uh, game modes we can do. Yeah is what I've been doing lately. Like, I love the two that I made, and it won't be us doing the other ones for a very long time, but I figure eventually this will be played out of proportion, so might as well start thinking about it. That's the mind of a streamer. Which is a good thing. <laughs> No, 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 no! Enderman, please! Damn. And I, for some odd reason, cannot move. There we go. P.S. Don't die while crouched. It doesn't seem to like it. Does it break the game? Yeah, it wouldn't let me t uh, move for a while. Weird.
I'm kind of scared for Endgame at the same time I can't wait. Just because I want to see how bad or slice good I do. Because it's something I've never done before. So I'm very curious on where I stand. So I'm excited but I'm also scared because I know I'm going to be shit. They don't know that. You I could, know that Dakota. You could dominate, you know that. Yeah, no. We both know that to be a lie. <laughs> I can't fight a zombie. I'm gonna be fighting real people. <laughs> so I know I'm gonna be shit. I just wanna know how bad I'm gonna be shit. Hey, have faith in your Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi will carry you. That's not good. <laughs> I want to be good because I'm good, not because my Wi-Fi seems to be better. But I've been re really friendly this season, which is good, but I do plan on um, Boogie Hunt being a lot more cutthroat. Because this is more or less the easier um, version of Boogie Hunt. And this version, we've been pretty friendly and, well, friendly, quote unquote. And we've been, like, helping out each other and all that stuff. Which, that still will be a thing in Boogie Hunt. Just there's obviously going to be more thought behind doing it. Like, more in the vicious. Ver Bad tent! <laughs> So I can't wait to see how that goes. Same. Because I'm like always friendly. It's hard for me not to be friendly. And helpful. So I'm curious on how that's going to play out. To be honest. Maybe you'll be really good at it. Well I know for a fact I won't. <laughs> but. I'm, I'm banking on. That people are going to be too scared because of the fact that I'm so, like, I don't, like, I myself don't know where I stand in this. So people in the game also don't know where I stand on this. So that's what I'm banking on is people thinking, well, she could be the ace card. Like, she could pull out shit that we weren't expecting because nobody knows where I stand. Like, Brandon and Isaiah and everybody, not Brandon, uh, Sam is like, uh, you have to be worried about, uh, Brandon, like, Brandon's ace card, like, he's wild, you never know what he's planning, and I'm saying, like, yeah, but, um, I think I'm more or less the ace card in this, <laughs> because, like, I don't even know where I stand in this. <laughs> You're like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, like, so I'm, like... I don't know, I could end up being like God, we'll see. <laughs> no, I know that not for a fact, but I'm baking on everybody else. I'm hoping it's going to feel the same where like, they're not going to know where I stand. Or the fact that everybody's going to be like, she's a newbie. And like, pretty much let their guards down around me is my hope. Yeah. Because the more that people, like myself, doubt myself, I'm hoping maybe something could come out of it. You might, like, <laughs> get a jump on them. Yeah. But I highly doubt that. I'm more just, like I said before, I just have a personal goal of not being the first to die and maybe at least be able to take one person's life is my hope. If I can do at least one of those or both of those, then to me that's going to be progress well not progress but that at least that's something like that gives me a little bit of hope of like okay then this is something i can definitely work on like i have potential and mm -hmm. then i can put myself into it and see where i stand and then work on it because i do plan on getting better as it goes because i want to actually be able to stand my own ground eventually which I think will be fun. Gives me something to drive towards. <laughs> I look forward to it. I do. 
Because I know, like, everybody else is just naturally good at it, like, as of right now. But people aren't going to see my progress. Which has always been what my channel has always been about. Is just seeing where I, like, seeing me get better and learn shit. And this season, I've learned a lot. I've learned about, well, I'm learning uh, about the new um, netherite. I've learned how potions work. I have learned about enchantments. Like, I've learned a lot. I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm proud of you, too. You've been crushing it. Yep. I mean, I definitely had to put, like, ten times the work in than everybody else has. But, who knows? That work can show off at the end, maybe. Yeah, right, cows? <laughs> I don't know. She's and I think up. it's just gonna be fun. Because, yeah, because, like, normally how my series, like, my regular series always goes, it's we, me and him end up killing the, and you end up killing the dragon, and then it's like the pretty much end of the season. But this time, there's gonna be, like, a game at the end. And it's gonna be us versing each other for once. And There's gonna be a lot been... of drama in there. Good point, definitely. Mm -hmm, and I mm -hmm. get to be the cameraman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know if you guys know this, but how Endgame is gonna work is Dragon's gonna make me buttons. One button to put me directly into creative is the plan, and then to teleport me to a person. What's gonna happen is, like, let's say Dakota was playing on attacking uh, Brandon. He would text me and be like, hey, I'm going to fight. Oh, oh, no, 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 me back the fuck up, bro, back the fuck up, bro, no, 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 back the fuck up, bro, back the fuck up, bro, okay. As I was saying, <laughs> as zombie arms are piercing through the door, <sighs> but I would hit the button to put me into creative. Isaiah's also talking about making me invisible somehow. But either way, then I'd hit their button to teleport me to them, and I'll be in creative, and I'll pretty much watch their little battle go out. So, pretty much everybody will be able to attack each other whenever, but besides me. Like, I can't decide like oh wow dakota is attacking brandon hey i'm gonna jump and attack i mean i could but i'm planning on not to only because that's gonna make it more difficult because then i'm gonna have to somehow turn myself from creative back into survivor and like that's kind of cheating because like everybody else is gonna have to work their way to them and i'm just gonna be like oh okay he's in the base turn myself into survivor and guess what i'm in your base now like, no, that that would be unfair. So, I'm probably going to be the only one that can't, like, team up with others in that case. Like, I could still, like, team up with Dakota beforehand and me and him go in together. But in that case, that will not be allowed. I can't, if I go into creative to watch a fight go on, I can't go to back to survival to fight them at that moment. Like, if I would watch in a fight and, like, let's say Dakota would die, but... I, Isaiah is like at one heart. I'm like, oh, this is my chance. I could get rid of him. I can't. I can't. No, that won't be allowed because that will be cheating. Like, no, 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 no. So just so you guys know, that's in the rules because I'm technically already cheating with the fact of going to creative, but I'm doing it in the fact of just professional being in the camera. That's it because obviously nobody else is streaming, just me. So it's just to get their other perspective. So don't worry about that. No cheating on my end. No using that. I'm camera and only camera during those moments. No helping. No, no nothing. I can't be like, hey, Dakota, dragon's hiding under the ground. Like, no, I can't. No. Can speak, but only for commentary. Commentary. Just speak to you guys. <laughs> other than that, no cheating, no nothing. Don't worry about that. I'm going to be good. All good here. That won't be allowed. We gotta be behaved. This game is robbing me. How so? I keep finding like the smallest diamond ore veins. 
I'm sorry. But yeah, guys, I just want to let you guys know that. Oh yeah, that's right. I need to work on getting wood. Hold on, gotta go to the bathroom first. I'll be back. All right. You're right back. Also, that's why I know most of everybody else's secret. Like how Dakota has been telling me about village, blah, 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 blah. It's also because of that purpose. A lot of the times people are telling me extra stuff because of the fact I am the commentary. Just so you guys also know. Like they're not like, they're telling me because I'm me, but also because of what's going on. That's why a lot of the things like you won't see me be as backstabby or stuff like that towards the other players because of the fact a lot of what they tell me is just because I am the cameraman so a lot of that stuff will not be used against them or in that case just so you guys know be right back <laughs> The reason why I bring that up, guys, is because, like, I know you guys could be like, oh, like, if I was playing, like, I'd be a bitch and go kill his villagers or this or that, but I'm not going to do that just simply because I am the cameraman. Like, if it was the fact that everybody else was streaming, yeah, I'd be a little bit more, like, dark cutthroat, like, fucking shit up. The reason why I haven't done any pranks or anything like that is because of that fact. I don't want to use stuff that they're telling me incompetent because of like updating me on how they're doing because of you guys against them. Like I still could. I, I'm just personally deciding not to. If I want to do stuff like that, I'll use stuff that's like, like, oh, I'll go kill all his cows or something like that. I'm not going to use like stuff they told me in like secret for you guys against them like I'm not gonna do that because that would just be wrong and mean because I, I haven't brought that up yet so I figure I might as well just in case like for some odd reason I do actually start getting viewers and stuff and they're like hey like you should totally do this prank on them like, no, I'm not going to do certain pranks or stuff like that just because of the fact a lot of what I'm told <laughs> and stuff like that is more or less just for, co uh, um, content, having great fun. Thank you. Content. I mean, I still could. I'm just not. Personal goal. You know what I'm having fucking the hardest time with, which is kind of stupid in my opinion? Mm. I've cut down over like probably 30 trees, and I have all those 30 trees, one, literally one has gave me a apple. Wow. Have they like lowered the spawn rate for apples or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Cause like it used to be like every tree you'd at least get like one or two and now I've cut down so many fucking trees off stream and I literally today finally got one that gave me an apple I might need you to press my button again okay I'm on it I need to stop doing this what are you doing Getting lost in caves. Why not do the whole dirt method that I do? Because these caves are just really big. 
Yeah, but what I do, literally I get in caves, I bring dirt with me or whatever, you know this, and I'll put it on my left side as I'm going down into the cave. So if I do get lost, I look for the dirt, but it has to be on my opposite side for me to know I'm going back home. Yeah, I get that. It's just, uh... Or I use torches. Indeed, guys. I kinda... Wait, don't press the button yet. I just found diamonds. I wasn't. I've been here for a little bit. I've been waiting for you to tell me to hit it. Okay, thank you. Oh, two diamonds! No. Okay. <laughs> you want me to hit the button? No, 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 don't, don't. Not yet. Okay. Well, you sound like you were running away from something, so I was like, button? I thought I just saw- OH FUCK! Just give me the number and I'll hit it. Bye, just bye, give bye. me the word. Ah, I hit it. Oh, oh, fuck. Did you die? Thank you. No, I, I lived. So I saved you? What yes. happened? So I was mining the diamonds. And I was kind of like trying to dig down to see if there's more diamonds down in the ravine. And when I broke it, I fell into a group of five zombies that started attacking me, which wasn't bad. But I was also right next to a lava pit and they almost kept pushing me into it. <sighs> oh, well, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. What's my reward? <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking away. <laughs> I'm looking away. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Thank you, mighty one. Thank you. It was perfect. Na -na -na. So, I did good. You unintentionally ruined your monopoly. <laughs> no, like I said, that was more or less just a joke. Because I know for a fact everybody's definitely gonna have it before I have it. Oh, by the way, uh. Hmm. Uh. 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 Yeah, that's gunpowder. What about it? Ah, thank you. No problem, Al. I deal with you, deal with Lamar. Thank you. Even though I really don't need it at this point. What the Like, I need it, but not... <laughs> no, like, I need it, but there's something I've been trying to get more of. Mmm, got it. Which I'm having the worst fucking luck getting. I, get I know that. it's not netherite. I mean, of course that's needed, but no, I really want something else, like a lot more of something else, but I can't get it because of my circumstance, and I don't know what to do to fix it, but it's fine. <coughs> oh boy. Because I have one piece of the puzzle, but not the other piece of the puzzle. <laughs> That's some type of bullshit. So from this season so far, knowing that Boogie Hunt is supposed to be harder, what would be your recommendations? Cause like I said, this is more of a test run, like an easy version of Boogie Hunt. Smaller map. Really? Yes, I feel like a smaller map would make the game way more competitive. Imagine, the resources would be much more limited, or places would have to be much closer to each other. It'd be battle of resources and a battle because we're trying to basically take land. Mmm. I'm saying I like, feel like that. 
that would make it harder but i feel like that might make it a little bit too difficult because we're gonna be like right now you're literally right beside me like to be fair we didn't really go too far away from the spawn none of us did none of us were actually really close to the border but i am thinking about keeping the um new xp farm versus the uh Oh, I Does, definitely uh, agree. Because yeah, because it makes life much easier. But not just that, because of the fact one thing that I've realized is half the reason why this season has taken so long besides, you know, building base and everything is everybody's having to fucking fight to get XP to do anything. Yes. And I want Boogie Hunt to be like shorter seasons than this like it's supposed to be like a rush towards the end because people are going to die like extremely quick during that because of monsters and shit like that so i'm thinking about keeping the xp farm all right because of the fact then that's one less thing like we have to like worry about because I was like, well, that makes it a little bit too easy. And then I was thinking about it, I'm like, wait, no. Because that's going to be the one thing that's going to take everybody so fucking long to get. And it's going to make the season, like, drag out. Because people might be able to get their bases and shit like that done extremely quickly in that. But to fucking grind to get XP, to get good armor, is going to fucking take forever. And then the season's going to mm -hmm. feel like it just drags out. Because people are going to need that. And that's why this season has took so long. It's because so many people were just grinding to try to get good armor. Like, literally, I have doubled the time that everybody else does. And it still has taken me forever to get XP to do any enchantment to any of my armor. So I think I'm going to definitely keep that the same next, like, during Boogie Hunt. I'm going to include that. Yes, I like it. But I'm not going to include the zombie, like the uh, mob farm, because of the fact, of the fact, like half the, our like main resources come from that. But I do want more people to be out and trying, like, fight. So I think I might not add that just because of the fact, like, a lot of people are probably going to die from natural stuff versus each other mm -hmm. this is more just because of pvp so honestly wait then maybe i should have that backwards maybe it shouldn't have been included in this season but included in the next i don't know i'm still trying to work out the bugs of what should stay what shouldn't stay i get it because obviously it's going to change through each season this is the first original PvP. I'm trying to figure out what's acceptable, not acceptable, what's easy, what's too hard, and I'm having difficulties because I'm such a noob. Everything seems a little bit too hard for me. So that's why I'm asking you. Do you feel like anything was too easy or too hard uh, for this season? Because it also, um, it's not just for Boogie Hunt. It will also be for the next season of this. Because Boogie Hunt won't be until we actually get, like, good. <coughs> Honestly, I think the only thing that needs to be changed is the map size. Because when it comes to the whole, like, uh, tag aspect, that would have yeah. been impossible if we didn't have the spawn system. Because that's the only way I can tag you. My map doesn't work. You live too far away. Like... No, I don't. I literally live directly almost under you. It, it took me about, like, ten minutes of, like, actual walking to get to your base. From, like, my base. I'm actually closer than what you think. Oh. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a lot closer than what you think. It's just the difference is to get to my base above ground would take you a century. But underground, literally, you would probably just have to dig one direction for not even, like, five minutes and you would find me. Well, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I realized that because me and you both are technically extremely close to spawn. I'm just a little bit further, but I'm underground, which makes it seem further because you can't get to my base easily because of me living in a large cave. You would have to get to me like by like 
at leaps and bounds, but underground, you could easily find me. If your map was working, is what I'm saying. Got it. But above ground, no. Because of the fact of the fact you have to go through many, many lush cave to find me. But once you find me, it's pretty easy to find me because I live in a lush cave with a base that's literally you could see from a mile away. Can we sleep? But yes. So have you came up with a game plan for Endgame for yourself yet? Somewhat. So are you going uh, for the um, attack route or are you going for the defense route? Attack, full-heartedly. I haven't really built a base. Yeah, Not that's what that I aspect. figured. Yeah, that's what I figured. Pretty much I know so far who's going on the attack route and the de defense route. Yeah. That's why I know who's going to be the worst. Like, if I got stuck with you at the end, I know, like, I'd be fucked, but you'd be coming to me a full Harley. Same with one other player. But then there's a different player, which I'm going to have to fucking stress about if I get stuck at the end with, because it's going to be a patient of who's going to butt, well, pretty much chicken. Yes. Because that person also is deciding to not leave their base. So, it, I'm really worried about being stuck at endgame with that person. If I would even survive to endgame, like the last two. Mm -hmm. Because they're not planning on leaving their base. And if I get stuck with them, I'm going to be completely fucking screwed. But it's fine. I'll figure it out. We'll your, see what happens. Your dogs just shook all their water off. I know, they did that last time I spawned back to base. Weird. Oh, and I thought of something that would have been pretty cool to do for a base in this. But it would be like the worst fucking grind ever, but it would be like OP. Hmm. Is beehives. If you would make your base walls completely out of beehives, they would have to break the beehives to get into your base, which would anger the bees, which would make them be attacked by bees with every block they broke. Huh, that's actually kind of smart. Yeah, just the issue is, like I said, be a big ass grind, and I'm not exactly sure how it would work. Because I'm pretty sure beehives, they have to have a way to get out, but I'm not sure if you break them, if they would have to have a way out. Because if you would put, like, a beehive with a uh, block above it, they cannot get out. So if you would hit them or do anything to them, they wouldn't come out. But if you break the beehive, I believe they would come out. But they, that plan could be easily distraughted by just the fact of using Silk Touch. They would just collect the bees. Yes. But I was talking to Isaiah and I was like, that's kind of... <laughs> Sorry. It's you good? Okay. <laughs> Go away. But that would be one way of using beehives to your advantage during PvP. Because me and Isaiah were watching um, Minecraft videos last night. And I was like, something came up with bees. And I was like, oh my god, that would be an extremely OP way to make a base out of just it. Like, one, it'd be a grind. And two, it simply could be counterproductive with the fact that somebody could just use silk touch and then the bees wouldn't be angered. But if they didn't, it would be extremely difficult to fight against if you would make your base out of it it would definitely take a really long time though mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but 
I thought it was a cool idea. It is a good idea. I like it. I just it would be time consuming. AO. Yeah, I definitely would not use it in this type of series, but it would be definitely something pretty cool to try. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is it stands out so badly. So unless you would use it for your whole base, because I was like, well, I mean, you could just use it for like every other spot. So if they would break it, trying to get in, like the bees would be released. And I was like, but everybody's going to recognize a beehive when they would break it. So everybody would just avoid breaking the beehive. Yeah. If your base is completely but, surrounded in, there's not much they can really do. Exactly. So, again, it would be completely time consuming. And it would take the longest process to make that base. But it's a very cool idea. I like it. It'd be something more or less you like if it was like a creative type thing I'd say do. Like if you got to like make your base in creative and then go into PvP, I would say it would be a hundred percent worth it. Even just maybe as a trap. But that would be the only case I feel like it'd be worth the time wasted to do it. Yeah. It'd have to be like in-game, in-game stuff, like just for your base, not for like yep. a base that people like easily could get access to, like your exactly. bunker, basically. A hundred percent. But I just thought I'd bring up to somebody else because, of course, Isaiah agreed with me, but he was halfway asleep, so I wanted to know how somebody <laughs> else felt about it. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I definitely will not be doing that though. That's way too much time consuming for this series. Yeah. Like I said, it'd be better for like a little type of trap if you can make it out of a trap. I don't think there's a way to make a trap that would break a block. Definitely just the bees will get angered by the one that breaks the block. Yeah, so. I don't so. think that would even work with a trap neither. Unless you could just somehow secretly get them to break the block without knowing what it is. But, again, beehives are extremely noticeable. Yeah, their they color is very easy to point out. Yeah. I mean, the only way I could see maybe somebody mistaking it, but they're still going to look at that and be like, what the fuck is it? Is by using that block from um, the... Uh, Deep dark because that one thing that you could put onto blocks, kind of like uh, vines, yes. you could technically put that on it, I believe. But again, that's still going to be a block that people are going to look at and be like, that sticks out really bad. Why is that block looking like that? What is that block? Because again, that yellow is only used in beehives. So even if you would cover it with that, they're still going to look at it and be like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... And definitely since if you get close to it, you hear the bees. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't think it would work too well. I don't know. It kind of depends. It depends on the situation, for sure. Yeah. Mobs are really trying to get my ass today. <laughs> They're mad at you. I'm guessing. I don't know why, though. Back to fuck up, bitch. Come on, zombie, get up here. There we go. Come on, tree, grow. I'm just trying to grind some wood because wood seems to be like what I'm struggling in lately. But no, the trees are not wanting to grow today. <laughs> I find it very disrespectful, tree. The amount of disrespect, trees. I Where's know, the like, honor? Uh. Here, I'll talk nice to you. Hello, tree. You can do it. You can be a big, eye strong tree anytime soon. 
You can do it. Do it. You're a beautiful tree. Do it. Grow, tree. It didn't work. Worth a shot. <laughs> It was worth a shot, but they, they didn't seem like my words of encouragement. It's okay. I'm trying to think of what other really cool blocks, well, cool, I mean unnecessary blocks that you could use for your base. That would be good. <gasps> yes, 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 I look at you. You know what? That's kind of bullshit. What? Okay. And you know me. I am like best friends with the Undermen. I love them to death. I refuse to kill them. Blah, 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 blah. Well, during this season, you kind of like pretty much have to. Yes. Because like XP and shit. So I've been like, anytime I see one, I look at them, I try to kill them. It's a bullshit that they just decide to despawn. Like, they just teleport away and don't come back. They're like, I yeah. angered you. There's like, Where nah. did you go? There's like, I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> I know, it's so bullshit. I, I, like, never kill them any other time. And this season, I've had to kill them. And... I realize I very much don't like them too much. <laughs> like, bruh, why you run away? But at the same time, I feel bad because it's like most of the time they t like disappear after I hit them once. And it's like they got offended because I looked at their face and they come to get me, like to yell at me, and I hit them, and then they just whine and they cry and they run away, and it's like, oh. It's like, uh, how could you? <laughs> So kind of I love them more now, but at the same time, they're so angering. <laughs> like, bruh, give me your XP. I want your XP. Hand it over. Give me the XP or die. But no, nope. They're just like, okay, you hurt my feelings. And they go away and it's like, aw, poor guy. He's just having a bad day. Just a bad day. But watching Hermitcraft as much as I have been lately, I'm really thinking about next season, like the regular Minecraft that like we do, at, like adding concept of like shops and stuff. Yes. Would be nice. I was thinking about that. I do know one that I definitely want is like the shops that I want is definitely the crystals and the candles. But crystals I don't and know. candles. Yeah. What shop would you want? Uh Oh and uh turtles. Like anything to do with turtles and uh axolotls. Uh I would like a that shop I'm that about. kind of has like an upgrade system. So think about it this way. You know how the rarities of the ores? Yeah. You, like, you have to get so much of one ore to get the next ore, and so much of that ore mm -hmm. to get the next ore. So maybe like a stack of coal can become one iron, and then like half a stack of iron can turn into one gold, and like so four. So basically, if you mine enough and find enough resources in total, you could eventually get the rarest material in the game. You just have to work a lot harder to get it instead of like having to go to the nether or something like that. Oh, so you're talking about just basic materials? Yeah, it's just basic materials. Ah, got you. I get it. That's pretty cool though, because if somebody just had a shitload of coal lying around, but they needed iron, they could be like, okay, I could trade in this 
coal to get iron or if they had a shitload of iron laying around and they needed diamonds they could be like okay I'm gonna trade in this iron to get the diamond that I need exactly yeah I think that's cool I like the idea I keep on stepping on my watermelons bruh you can't be stepping on watermelons though I know I didn't know stepping on the stem would get rid of the fucking watermelon <coughs> oh sorry no, that's fine So is that the only shop you would be doing, or that's the only thing that could come to my mind? Ah, the... uh, gotcha. I think you'd be the best person for um, Electra and Sharker boxes. Really? Yeah, I think that would be like a good shop for you. It like, would have I to be really like... expensive for that stuff. That... Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying like. I feel like you'd be the only one that would take on the challenge of going to every single fucking whatever they're called to get all of them to make a monopoly. Like, cause I feel like everybody else would not want to do that. Yeah. You'd be like, nah, that's too much work. But I feel like you making a shop for it, you would be the only one that would have the dedication to actually do it. Oh, I would. <laughs> that's my point. So I feel like that would be something that would be good for you. For sure. You know something I would love to do, but I know for a fact I don't have the energy to do? What? A shop for bodyguards. <laughs> and the bodyguards would be just endermen in boats. Boat endermen? Yeah, because if you would have somebody look at the enderman as precaution, like at your door, like, hey, you have to look at the enderman before entering, make them look at them. Let them do whatever the hell they want, but they piss you off. You break the bow, and the other man would go and kill them. I like the. Concept. I saw a green do it, and I thought the concept was cool. So like, it would be like bodyguards. You'd come to me to get a bodyguard, but I do not have the time or the effort to go hunting for Enderman. <laughs> like, trust me, no. <laughs> but. I think it'd be a pretty cool thing. Like, hey, come to Little's Bodyguard Service. And you'd come to me and I'd be like, hey, here you go. Here's an Enderman in a boat. And you just have him guard your base. But that's why I prefer guard dogs. I love it. Because the they're concept. way easier to get. I'm pretty sure, I'm not exactly sure, but I think you can breed to adult dogs that you don't have tamed. You don't have tamed, and they should have a dog that still isn't tamed by you. But I'm not exactly sure about that, because I know if you have two dogs tamed, you breed them, they'll give you a, d a puppy that's also tamed by you. But I think if you don't have, well, can you even... Breed a dog that you don't. Yeah, I think you should be able to, cause it's just rot. Uh, not rotten meat. Uh, steak. You give any dog steak, I believe they will mate. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that neither. But if my concept is correct, then yeah, I'd be able to do a little pet shop that you would come and get your uh, new pet dog from. I think it'd be cool. It's a cool shop. But we gotta be honest, dogs are very easy to get. <laughs> but that's the point why I would have a monopoly on it. Are you I'm say saying we would go by the bro code. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Like, oh, I'm the one that's doing candle shopping, so the only way you could get candles is by buying from my shop. Okay. So it'd be the same concept. Like, you can't get a dog without coming and getting a dog from my dog shop. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. Like, yours would be different. It would just be con either they would have to grind the work or go to your shop. But stuff like candles or electras or stuff like that, they would have to go by the bro code of you can't get it unless, like, by chance you imagine, like, you get, like, if they would find the deep dark, find an electra, just saying as an example, then they would get the Electra. But other than that, they would have to buy from your shop. 
Like, if it's an accidental come across, then it's fine, but they can't go hunting for it. Okay, I got it. That's what I'm saying. If it was more or less bro code and not, uh, just simply like, oh, if you need it, come to my shop type thing. Is the zombie gone? Zombie is gone. Why will you refuse to grow? Or we could make it where it would still be the grow promise thing, but like you could find it in the natural. Like let's say I had a monopoly over axolotls. Let's say you would accidentally find one or you would go hunting for them in the natural. You could get, bring them to me and I could buy them off of you instead yes. to sell them. That would be how it would be. So if you needed money or currency, that would be a way for you to get that also. I'd like that. I'm just saying that's a concept because I've been watching way too much hermit craft and I like the idea of shops, but I just don't get how they make it work because everybody could just go hunt for that stuff themselves. It's just less that that person's lazy or not. Yeah, but if we do it that they don't way, have a where, code, no, it's just simply if you don't want to go through the effort of getting it yourself, you would go find it, and those people that have the shops would try to make it as like hard to find those items as they possibly could. Like they gather um, all of them. The Electra, they would go and they would hunt every Electra they can possibly find. So nobody would be able to find it, and then those people would be forced to go buy it off of them. Yes. And I always found that so stupid because of the fact, like, either your customer would have to be extremely lazy, or you would just had to grind to get all the item. Like, uh, Scar, he wanted to get a monopoly over the desert. He wanted to get a monopoly over the sand. So, but a lot of people just kept on coming and stealing the sand from him when he wasn't there. And I'm like... See, that doesn't work. Because they're just going to find sand. You know, technically, I probably hold a monopoly over the villagers in the world. Oh, now. yeah. At the moment, I believe, besides that village that you have, the rest of the villagers, because we went to the villager farm, like, village that was closer to us, and mm -hmm. they were all dead. So unless somebody is going to magically find your village or a village that nobody else has found yet, I believe yes you do. That's what I'm just saying. On their world, it's kind of like pointless because unless you're holding a monopoly over something that's extremely difficult to find, people are going to find it. That's why I think the whole bro code of if you find it, you could, like, if you just magically come across it, fine, you can keep it. But if not, you could sell it to the shop, and they could resell it. And then if you need that item, you just have to go to the shop to get it. Yes. Like, if you would magically find an axle, you could come to my shop, and I'd buy it off of you for half price. Or whatever you would be bargaining for it, and then I'd be able to resell it to somebody who wanted it from me. But again, I was just bringing that up because I'm like, I don't get how they do it because unless you have bro code or unless you are willing to put in the hours to literally hunt that item down so nobody else can get it. It'd be freaking difficult to have a monopoly over everything. Because, like I said, they try having a monopoly over, like, several different things. And every time they got a monopoly over something, they didn't have a monopoly. Somebody else got it or stole it from them. I understand it works for them because you're supposed to steal and cheat and lie to 
become better than everybody else. But like I'm saying, how like everybody's gonna eventually have those items. Like they kept on trying to have a monopoly over sugar cane. But everybody kept on just stealing the sugar cane. And once you have one piece of sugar cane, you can grow sugar cane, and then guess what? No monopoly. Mm hmm. So I found it kind of stupid. Not to mention their map's not limited. Yes, it is. No, so they, their map's only so big? I believe so. I could be wrong. Well, I haven't watched it. Just, I'm pr like, it never seemed that way to me, is all I'm saying. I be. think their hermit crafts not, but their other ones are. They still have shops and I don't know. I think they just base off of laziness. Like if somebody doesn't want to go get it, then you make money from it. Got it. But if they want to go hunt for it themselves, they go hunt for it themselves. And it's like you're not going to really make much profit then. The other thing is, like, every single one of them are selling it for diamonds. Mm -hmm. Like, they just up the price. Like, oh, you want a uh, deep slate? Okay, you can buy off me, but it's this many diamonds. But then you could go to this other shop, and it would be the same thing for diamonds. It's the cost for it, but it's just you get less or more of it, depending on how, like, the diamonds. And it's like, okay, why is everything... Like, based off of diamonds, though. Yeah, at some point, like, once you actually have a full set of diamond armor that's not gonna break, diamonds are useless. Yeah, nobody's gonna want diamonds, but at the same time, then that makes sense of why everything costs is diamonds. Because people are gonna have a shitload of diamonds that they're not using. True. But I don't know. Tree, you still have not grown. What's your issue, bruh? Uh, I I love villagers. Okay. I I thought broke, you hated them. I I broke the game using villagers. Loop. So technically, I created a loop of infinite power. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to know my method? Uh, sure. Alright, so basically, enchants. We have limited XP now based off the new XP farm, right? Yes. And now since we have grindstone there, I can enchant books and then get rid of the enchant and the enchant is shit. But the only problem with that is, uh, lapis, right? Yeah, that seems to be the issue that everybody's having. See, the thing is, I have a limited lapis. Because I have villagers. Ow. Ah. If you get a cleric villager, you can buy one lapis off them for one emerald. Which I have a limited potato, so I have a limited emeralds. Therefore, I have a limited lapis and a limited XP. Therefore, I have a limited enchants in any enchant I want. Damn, boy. Yes. <laughs> OP Dakota. Just in the last hour, I've become broken. A hundred percent. But I figured that from the beginning. Yes. <laughs> really, my boats are... There's like a 95% chance that you're going to win. Then there's a, a second chance of winning is Isaiah. Then the third chance is tied between me and Bran, only because, again, I don't know where Bran stands. Yes. And he's the mystery, because I don't understand how he plays yet. So I'm still learning. Which I get. But I believe he is better than me. But at the same time... I believe he could definitely lose to you. I say more experience on Minecraft, but as for PvP, just when playing with him on computer, 
He didn't seem like he'd be a big like PvP guy. Like he'd be good. None. At None. Yeah, None. see, that's what I thought. He mostly plays modded. Yeah, exactly. So I think you guys are pretty. Huh? I think you guys are pretty on par. Exactly. So I don't know how it's gonna go. I just gotta wait and see. Neither do I, but I'm excited to see how it goes. Me uh, too. Do you have zombie flesh? Yes. Could I get it? I mean... You could get zombie flesh very easily from the spawner. True! True, 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 true. I keep forgetting that thing exists. I've literally not used it for XP a single time. <laughs> I've lost shit again. You've what? I've lost my shit again. Your food? Uh, no, this time actually my rod. My fishing rod. Lamar, how did you manage? <laughs> I don't know, I'm normally really good with my freaking storage. I feel like- and it's like- I feel like you lost your rod, like- while fishing with it. <laughs> like, that's how bad I think you are at losing shit. <sighs> tell me that you weren't fishing with it. I can't disagree. <laughs> Just tell me you weren't actually fishing with it when you lost no, it. No, 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 no. I was fishing with it a while back and I put it away to go do something. Okay, okay. And now I can't remember where the hell I put it. Got it. I found it. It's just where it shouldn't have been. Understood. Lyric, where are you? There you are. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is that if I end up with Endgame with you or, an, or Isaiah, I know I'll lose. But it's the question. I don't know if I end up in Endgame with him, how it's going to turn out. Yes. But I'm curious to see. Hold on, I got to go to the bathroom. All right. Give me right back. I am the back. Welcome back. Honestly, if you don't win, who do you think will win? Honestly, mm -hmm. you are Knox. Can I say that? Because Dragon's just the kind to not put in all the effort, and I feel like okay. all of us are putting in a lot more effort, and we'll be a lot more prepared. Well, you more than Dragon, but Nox probably just as much as Dragon, because he doesn't really play. Yeah. So, honestly, it's between you and me, I feel. See... 
I disagree. Why do you say that? Just because Dragon hasn't put in as much effort as everybody else. But I know his PvP skills are a lot better than me or uh, Brandon. So I feel like if it was me and Brandon versus him, he would still win, even though he's less prepared. Maybe. Is my point. So I feel like if I was definitely against you or Dragon at end game, I would completely lose. Is what where my head is. Yeah, I get that, but I guess we'll see. It yeah. all depends. Hundred percent. Because in this case, PvP isn't the only thing that also matters. Also, just the base themselves matter. Like, who's the most prepared with their base and all that shit. Uh, who's prepared more material and all that shit also matters. Like, there's so many different things that literally can completely twist the game backwards. So, like, like I said, if it was just me versus you or Dragon, just PvP, I know I would lose. But, if it was based off of, like, just no skill behind it, just based off of how we stand right now, I might have a fighting chance. But, also, then... There's a Brandon, which is his stace card, supposedly. Because we don't know where he stands. All we know is he could pull, pull a fucking nuke out of his back pocket. Like, we don't know. So, literally, there's no depending, like, counter, like, to know what exactly can happen. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But my two bets are probably on you and Dragon. Being the last two. That's if you two don't kill each other within the first five minutes. <laughs> you gotta eliminate the threat so there is no more threats. Good point. But you also gotta think about how people react with their backs against the corner. Sure, true. So, again, there's zero idea of actually knowing what could actually happen in this. And that's why it's so interesting to me. Yeah. Because I'm normally an overthinker. I can literally predict what the outcome will be way before most people can. But in this case, there's way too many variables. So I'm definitely interested in what could possibly happen. I know one outcome that will not happen is me being the last one stand. <laughs> you never know, you never know. Now I know. Because no matter have how well faith. prepared I am or how like anything else goes, I know for the fact Unless, for some reason, a trap I make, which we both know I can't do traps, but if magically one of my traps take out the last person, that's still not a possibility because that's one life. One. But what if it's their last? Maybe everyone was picking each other off. I don't know, I find that very hard to believe, but <laughs> that's the only, only possibility is for if for some god-awful reason I end up killing the last person to a trap. And my traps are literally, there's a hole. <laughs> there's a hole. 
So unless the last person doubts, doubts my abilities that bad to where they don't even focus on their surroundings and just fall into a hole, there's no possibility that I will be last one standing. <laughs> And I don't know if I would even count that as a victory then. Because in my back of my head, I'm always going to believe that they did it just for sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm really excited. Like I said, I, I don't care to win or lose. I more or less just count for the fact of Seeing where I stand so I can get better for the next season. Yes. That's why after this season, I do plan on doing some just like arena stuff. Like even if it's just stupid games that we do where we all just get in a room and we fight to the death like over and over and over again. That will be my plan just so I can get a little bit better with just PvP is my plan. That's why I want to know where I stand as this game goes so I can decide on what I need to work on to get better so maybe eventually probably many years down the road but eventually I'll have a fighting chance against you guys because I think it'd be cool to actually see my progress yes and against a zombie I want to know the day that I finally ain't scared to die from a fucking zombie, <laughs> bro. I've been playing this game, like, my whole life, but I mostly play in creative. Then I finally started playing Survivor, like, sur in Survival, recently. And now I'm jumping directly to PvP. She really just said YOLO. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Well, good job. You signed your death certificate, stupid. Talking to a villager about life. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Imagine I just come at, with that amount of aggression. This person's trying, this villager's trying to sleep with this villager while they're in bed. That's called rape. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm not supposed to use that word. That's called assault. Yeah. <laughs> the tree finally grew and it gave me the tiniest fucking tree ever. Bruh. I'm happy. <laughs> You're happy. I mean, yeah, it's still wood. Oh, Churchill. I'm just saying, like, it's funny that it's like, oh, okay, you don't want a big tree? I'll give you the tiniest fucking tree I can possibly give you. <laughs> hey, I found my leather! Dragon, put it back. <laughs> yes, he, he magically got on without us knowing and put it back. I know, the man's sneaky. That's how he got in the first place. Yeah, he did it in his sleep. <laughs> I know, he's so good. So amazing. <laughs> God, I wish to be like that guy someday. <laughs> I have a very stupid question which I probably should not be asking you. Hmm. But because it like gives up any source of surprise. But I honestly need to know if it's worth my time. Okay. Okay, my thought process, my base. Everybody's most likely going to be using TNT and all that shit, so I made my base mostly out of insidian. Yes. So I didn't have to worry about people just blowing me up. But if people do blow up my base, my base is going to be completely, like, pfft, done, over with. Is it worth making more bases? You know that... Obsidian can't be blown up with TNT, right? Yeah, but that's the thing. My 
I didn't use completely TNT. I like I didn't use completely Insidian. I do not have enough time to completely cover it in Insidian. So it's still blow like blowable bull. <laughs> um, I I don't see anything wrong with having a second base now. But my question is, is it worth the time though? I mean, how much do you care about winning? That's the I mean, I question. care to win, but it's more or less like I was thinking about making like just a secondary base, but at the same time, like it's gonna take me fucking forever to make it. And I don't know how soon people are gonna be ready for Endgame, so. Like, I don't want to be the one holding everybody back from doing Endgame because I'm too busy making a secondary base. Alright, if that's the worry, then I say we give a date. Like, a, like either a date, like a specific day, or like a week. A week when it's over. Yeah, you got a so, point there. So people know that they have so much time, so if they really care, then they need to get their shit together. Good point. I mean, that's a possibility. You got a point there. Yep. Mm, I gotta think about it. Because I don't want to rush people. I get that, but... At least since I'm the only one that really doesn't have any priorities. So I'm the only one that really doesn't have to be stressed about a due date. Because I can literally, oh, it's next week. Okay, I'm not going to sleep for the next week. I'm just going to sit here and grind. I mean, I work full time, just like Isaiah, and I've, I've still made time to play. That's the way I see it. I know, but still, I don't want to <laughs> force people to have to get on. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Me too. I mean, it's a good idea. I'm just saying, like, I probably won't do that for this season, at least. Yeah. Definitely since, like, we've already, like, included everything and blah, blah, blah. If it seems to be that case with this season, like, it just takes way too long, it drags out, blah, blah, blah. Then, yeah, maybe I'll be like, okay, yeah, we're going to add a time limit to this. So, like, if you want a chance, like, get on. But I feel like that's more or less a boogie um thing. Okay, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'm not sure. I s something I just gotta think about. Sorry, my factions is trying to come out in factions. You have so much time to basically get your shit together and really build a base and get as many resources and money as possible because the season ends at a certain point and then you're trying to be the top. So if you don't grind then it's just too bad. You should try to <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And I don't want people to feel that way, though. Yeah. Like, oh, obviously this person was going to win because, guess what? They got to get on a lot more than everybody else did. Because some people literally just can't get on. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Villager, don't you go in the hole. You've seen what happens to the other ones. Your life will be voided. It's this is not a drill. You will die. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I'm fucking around, villager? Because I'm not. These villagers be playing, they be playing with fire. Bitch! 
I want my villagers. They're so nice. Adorable. I shot my pots. And definitely since I just don't want like whoever wins to be belittled too. I don't see how they can like, be belittled about trying the hardest. Well, that's my point. I just don't want to take that chance of, like, let's say, um, I win. I've been on the longest and everything. And yeah. then somebody's like, well, obviously you were more prepared than everybody else. So, like, of course you had a higher chance. Well, blah. Because I feel like this yeah. is going to cause conflict. I kind of get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. And that's kind of why I don't want to add a time limit. Just that's why I was like, oh, when everybody feels like they're physically ready, that's when we'll start. Because then the whole winning part can't be taken away from the winner because everybody felt like they were ready. So if they weren't actually ready, then sorry, but true, true. I don't know. Just food for thought. I get it. Ever since eventually I would like to uh, get more people involved. Because I don't have a lot of friends. Or Lamar. <laughs> Fine. The only people I have that I can invite is uh, Gelbait and Jane. Gelbait, I'm pretty sure he's on a new console now, so I'm not exactly sh how sure it would work out for him. And two, Janie has only played creative her whole life, and she's only played like twice. Oh, on the <laughs> Yeah. So, like, she'd be very behind. Very. So I would kind of feel bad, because I invited her, but, like, one, she need, she doesn't have a working mic at the moment, and two, like, this would be very difficult for her. She'd still be learning. Yep. That's why I told Isaiah to invite his friends. Because he still has one more friend that he can invite to it. Which we did invite, which was Sam, but... He didn't like the fact that there was a world limit and stuff like that. Like, he didn't agree with the rules. Yeah, I wish I don't do that. I think he's are... more into like a open world, like survival, just normal Minecraft. Yeah, he is. He likes uh, computer uh, Minecraft with mods and stuff like that. Mm. Which a lot of people are like nowadays, everybody likes modded Minecraft a lot more because it adds so much to the world. I get it. I hear eating. I eat. See, I did it again. And I'm doing it again. We have to go back to spawn. It's the end of the episode.
Never mind, go back home. Why? That was zombies. It's not time. I I killed it. <laughs> oh, okay, then I'm coming back. Woo! Hey guys, we're in this episode right here. We'll be right back with your it. This was me little me little me little monster and uh Koda. We'll be right back. Bye. Bye.